Okay, friends, I'm going to start calling by tables to get their pencils sharpened. From our very first day at Woodlawn, I was told I need to talk to Lionel Clay that Lionel Clegg is Woodlawn. The school itself is really special to me because again, I used to be here as a student, but now I'm also as a teacher, so I've come full circle. He said his time as a student at Woodlawn really inspired him to come back as a teacher. Woodlawn was actually, for me, it, it helped me learn to be who I was growing up. There was a fourth grade teacher that I had, her name was Ralea Mayunga, and she, was actually the first teacher of color that I ever had and gave me a great sense of pride about being who I was. The first grade teacher and 21-year Woodlawn vet has a distinct teaching style. Mr. Clegg was really strict. He gets a little strict sometimes, but I liked him as a first grade teacher. Why? Why is that your style? I care about these kids greatly and I would treat them as if I treat my own children. Sometimes it's not going to sit here and get them to understand the things they know if we're just sitting here being nice. And especially for our children of color, I feel like we don't have any time to waste. I have a sense of urgency to ensure that our kids are getting all that they need to be learning in classrooms to be successful in the future. He says a big reason he's successful is that he went through the Portland Teachers Program, the partnership between PCC, Portland State University, and the Portland and Beaverton School Districts recruits and supports teachers of color. As far as being the well-rounded teacher that I am and having that understanding of how to work with all children and also the respect to learn from them as well uh, has been very vital and it's really because of Portland Teachers Program that that's why I am the way that I am now. I'm going to ask my friends to go to their seats, turn your chairs in the direction of the... It's through that program that Mr. Clegg became Anthony Lowry's mentor, the other first grade teacher at Woodlawn. And just to have two in the first grade, I don't think you'll ever find two black teachers in first grade in the state of Oregon. I think that's like a, a unicorn. Did you ever think you would be a teacher? Not in a million years. I never thought I would become a teacher. Um, if it wasn't for PTP, I still wouldn't become a teacher. After 12 years at Nike, the then single father was laid off and at a crossroads. He was coaching basketball when another teacher told him to check out the Portland Teachers Program. It really gave my life purpose. It made my, gave my life meaning. Um, I never really knew what my life was meant to be, but now that I'm as now I'm a teacher, it's like, man, I don't see myself doing anything else. Describe PTP for me, Lionel, in your own words. Uh, one word, it would be family. All of these educators at Woodlawn went through the program. They wanted to sit down as a group and talk about its impact on the school. When I got in the program, it was just like a lot of other individuals that were just like me, having the same journey through education. Jai Blair teaches fourth grade at Woodlawn. He also did his student teaching under Mr. Clegg through PTP. There's like less than 5% of teachers are black males in, in the United States. Um, and for kids to see positive male figures that are not athletes, that aren't, you know, rappers or anything else, but somebody that's kind of giving back to the community, I think that's super important. Kathy Parker is the reading specialist at Woodlawn. She became an educator so kids could see teachers of color. When I came to Oregon, I came as a high school student and we lived out in Newburgh and they had an assembly to announce we were the first black family to ever integrate the high school. And they had an assembly before we got there to let the teachers and the students know how to treat us. And I thought that was like the weirdest thing ever. Years later, the local paper wrote articles about how Parker's family was mistreated at the school. And so when I came back 20 years later and I brought my kids back to stay with my mom because she lives out in Sherwood, the exact same thing happened. I'm like 20 years later, so I'm like, you know what? I need to get into school. I need to be that teacher that, look, because they, they didn't know how to treat us. That's the whole goal of the Portland Teachers Program and a big part of Woodlawn's identity students having teachers who look like them. Having teachers of color, it's more than just being a teacher of color. It's, it's about sharing that perspective that, again, someone else from a different point of view may not be able to share. I'm able to talk about things in a more comfortable manner, whether it's between race, um, if we're talking about like historical um, things, I'm not afraid to talk about it with the students. Um, I don't shy away from it. I don't try to sugarcoat it. What's it like having these um,
teachers that look like you. It's really good because it makes me feel comfortable. When I was little, I didn't understand what racism was, what any type of stuff like that was. But now that I've had teachers that look like me explain it to me, it's like a part of my history. So it makes me feel happy that they're talking about it now. And being in their classes is just make just makes me happy. So I have Mr. Clay and uh, I have Mr. Larry as a student teacher. I felt like they're trying to make us better and, and making us like be role models when we grow up and stuff. Describe Mr. Blair as a teacher. You set your goals really high. The teachers told me having teachers of color benefits the white students as much as anyone else. And that's important in the quickly gentrifying Woodlawn neighborhood where more white families are moving in. The racial makeup of the school is changing, especially in the lower grades. I mean, it's also great for kids of all, all colors because they get different perspective and teachers. Um, I've had great success with my Caucasian students um, because I give them a, I give them my perspective. And a lot of times the kids don't get more than one perspective. A lot of times they'll get only one perspective all the way through school. While the partnership provides tuition waivers, former full-time teacher and current substitute at Woodlawn, Margarita Portillo, points out the rigorous program is far from a free ride. You paid for your books, you paid for um, anything else extra, your living expenses, but you needed to come to meetings every month, you needed to write papers, you needed to research, you needed to do all of these extra things and carry a B average. Now, after 30 years and 230 graduates, the program that brought almost all of the teachers of color to Woodlawn is in danger of ending. And at this point, PTP is no longer taking new students in just because of the uncertainties of the future of PTP. While PSU put $500,000 towards the program, that will only pay for the current students to finish out school. PTP's director confirmed they are no longer taking new students while they figure out how or if they can move forward. I think it's sad hearing that students are knocking on the door at PTP wanting to become an educator and they're getting turned away because there is no funding for it. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for PTP and there's just somebody out there right now that's wanting to become a teacher, that might be their avenue and they're not able to do it. I mean, I just feel like they don't understand or they don't want to understand how the importance of putting teachers of color in schools, especially Northeast schools. I think that just Portland State not really wanting to support us is kind of like, I figure it's just a second, another part of gentrification. You know, I feel this is another nail in the coffin to really get into, you know, eliminating the black community in Northeast. If, you know, if there's no more teachers, if you don't want no more teachers of color in PPS, um, what's, what message is that sending? What message is that sending in the community? I mean, what, what value does that show? It's like, you know, teachers of color are no longer valued or not worth keeping. Mr. Clegg told me PTP is not ending because they're still here and they are PTP, but they're worried about the pipeline going into the program. The alumni told me they'll fight to make sure this program continues whether it's finding another partner or dedicated revenue source.